all right so um basically we are going to be designing the chrome logo in our photoshop cc 2022 um hello there guys um good evening to you all um i'm king white i'm a graphics um designer um i made this channel for many newbies and um just beginners i also want to learn how to design in photoshop um so today we'll be doing the chrome logo first of all we have to use our circle tool um we also have to pick a color um for now we can we can use any color basically because we'll be changing it later but for now let's take um, our black circle um we all know the chrome and logo is not black but um there's one thing about photoshop we can always um touch re-edit and do whatever we want later on and um so you just watch how i make this step by step how i name and arrange my layers um you can also name your layers whatever you like as a beginner most people think you must name it exactly what is um inside the document or what exactly you have there but it's a lie so we'll be drawing our second circle um here i hope you can see how i do that it's a very easy thing just go to the um, circle tool and just draw it out so it's not that hard so um, let's change this color by double clicking on that small spot uh, let's put it um we'll have to look for a blue or something like a deep blue like the chrome deep blue okay so um this is what we have so far um let's make sure you turn off that stroke because um the new version of photoshop 2022 always have this stroke on when you draw like your shape so um we are going to layer styles by clicking by double clicking it and then um, we are going to be using stroke white stroke for this and that's um, the new circle that we put on top the round circle so somewhere around here is okay i guess um just watch the values that i use and hit the okay button um so what we'll do now is we'll have to start um drawing the colors so um you can name the colors whatever you like like i said so we we'll have to start drawing the colors so for that we are going to be using the pen tool for drawing the colors so um we we'll have to take this below the circle because um the circle that blue circle with the white stroke should um be on top of all the colors so uh let's start with um a rectangle tool all right so we are going to draw uh, put our first bold color on it and let's say somewhere here is okay um don't be alarmed when you have this kind of result <laughs> you think you've ruined the whole project but um i'm going to show you how you're going to put it inside the circle by using the clipping mark so for now let's change the color to red hit the ok button uh, make sure you turn off that stroke like i said i don't know why it's like a default in the photoshop c2022 version so um going between the layers you see something like an arrow once you hold the control that's the ctrl then hits the enter button and this is what you should be having so for the other side um we are going to be doing a shape layer starts you click on let's say somewhere around here here um okay here here and here so if you notice um the shape we just drew now is still outside so we have to clip it by hitting that same control in between um the layers in between the two layers or if you don't really get that part out you can drop a comment in the comment section below and i'll explain that for you so um this is what we have so far um what we have to do now is um the yellow parts of the chrome logo 
so uh, make sure you somewhere here create a new layer um, you can name this whatever you like like I said so um, let's just name them accordingly okay so the same way we drew this last shape that we um, that we just did we are going to be doing that for this um, yellow put it somewhere here let's take it all the way up up um, grab the shape to on turn off the stroke layer and um, let's say somewhere around here uh, somewhere here all right um let's let's start from here let's take it here um here outside okay um yeah i think it's perfect so like i said go in between the layers and um okay um this is what we have so far okay um we have to arrange this here yes um the yellow layer has to be beneath the red layer you understand so um i think the last effect that we have to do now is the green but let's try and adjust um the rectangle of the red so that it fits perfectly into our projects uh no like as you can see there's something let's take it up okay um somewhere around here is perfect so just double click on the black um the black field that we used before and let's change it to green somewhere here so that's basically it we're like 80 percent done so somewhere around here okay um, let's take it down a bit let's make it darker a bit okay um, just note the values that i'm going to use at the end of this tutorial so you can get the exact results that I used. All right, so um, somewhere here, okay. Um, just hit the OK button, and that's it, guys. You can see the Chrome logo is very easy. Um, you can group the whole thing into a single layer and name it whatever you like. Okay, so um, let's merge this. Let's change it to a smart object. I want it smaller so that we can write our text. There, hit the OK button. So as you guys can see, this is a perfect, um, sweet Chrome design. Like we just made this basically in just few minutes, under ten minutes with almost through with this tutorial so just have to let's try the red color right in our text let's say chrome let's try big c c h r o m e um, chrome logo so um let's try these values uh i want it to be small so that you can actually see okay Let's try like on um, green. Okay, something like this. Um guys, if you're just watching this channel for the first time, please help me share this video, like it, and subscribe to the channel because I'll be making more tutorials for you guys to enjoy. Um so that anytime that you have any challenge or you want to watch something new um something you can actually create in few minutes um you'll be the first to see it anytime that i upload it um so long as you've already hit the subscribe button so um i want to say a very big thank you to my returning subscribers you guys have been amazing um so thank you for the love and the support um that is basically it um we're done 
with this tutorial and um, in case you have any questions for me or you got lost at some parts because I don't really think so because I made this tutorial very simple just drop that in the comment section below yes yeah, so um thank you guys for watching um, the previous um, this chrome tutorial that I just finished I hope you guys enjoyed it um, I made this channel for beginners um, Photoshop beginners so many people have been asking me um, to create a channel for them they actually want to learn how to do stuff in Photoshop okay because I've actually have um, over I think going to 17 years experience now when it comes to working in Photoshop and I just decided to in my free time create this channel to make tutorials for you guys so um like I said I'll be needing your support in helping this channel grow um, because you know <laughs> I'm actually doing this for free and it's time consuming it's kind of exhausting making tutorials and making sure people understand what you're teaching so I really love if you guys will support me in making this channel grow so um, basically what we just finished doing is called um, a logo creation and it's for beginners um, so as we advance in this channel I'll be teaching other harder techniques but I'll be making sure it's something that you can actually learn something that you can actually do with simple basic steps and your results will look like um, a person that has uh, a degree in editing like yeah it's going to be really worth it and actually you can sell all this your services online because there are a lot of customers on online let's say Fiverr for example they are looking for graphic designers and all that's someone that will put them through or will help them deliver a project and everything so um, I'll just advise you to stick to this channel because like I said we'll be going from um, beginner to a pro level so you guys can also learn as you learn you can also earn from it by selling the services online so um as you can see this is a very clean logo this is a very very clean logo what we just um use the tools we use most in this logo are just shapes um just photoshop shapes and um just it's basically shapes that is what um many logos are made of if you get they're just shapes then when you deliver them in photo formats <laughs> the clients actually don't know the kind of stress or the kind of hard work you've put into it so um, as you can see this is a very simple logo and I know the person that actually made that started all that helped um, Chrome design this logo we have made millions out of it just imagine we made this logo within just 10 minutes and um, the person who actually created this logo um, for the company for chrome company might actually charge them let's say like a um, hundred billion dollars yeah it's not too small or it's not too big rather for for branding a logo depends on the company you're working for so um, I'll also advise you guys when making a logo for a client just make sure you deliver it in a very clean way as you can see the one that we just did is very clean there are no um, there are no rough edges no rough curves and all that it's a very sweet clean logo as you can see so um, that's basically it guys um, you just have to keep practicing also because most of you might not really get this tutorial for the first time though it's actually for beginners like I said this is um, a beginner level but most of you might not actually get it for the first time so I just will advise you guys to keep making research you can check out other channels also they will also show you some simple simple steps 
So um thank you guys for watching and God bless you.